Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Brian's farm. We just got done picking corn. We got two full bins and then a bunch of tubs. Mom's loading onto the back of the truck right now for the market. Up here in the truck, we have our biggest load yet. All sorts of cucumbers and peppers, zucchini, kohlrabi, potatoes, red beets. See, we got a really nice amount of cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes out of the high tunnel. Big, beautiful zucchini, potatoes, onions, dill, and definitely some more things I'm forgetting about. Dad just left, so Sammy and I are gonna head out now and get some stuff that mom needs for the market. That includes cabbage, some eggplant, and sweet corn. Well, more sweet corn, because we already got some already. Frank's back out of weed whacking again. You can see the water coming off the weed whacker. It's pretty wet yet. Sammy and I come down to the barn first. We're gonna do barn work. We're going to put boards over top our chop cart now because birds come in during the day and they get droppings all in here. You can see right here they ate well a little bit was on top of here. And that saves a lot, which actually looks like I need to get more down, which is pretty simple. Just move these boards, open the chute, and there it comes. So the chop is a mixture of corn, oats, and soybean meal, and some other minerals. We have no cows in our barn. One more yet. So this goes outside to the pasture. more Sydney? About three. Three? Uh, maybe two. We moved into sweet corn. This variety seems to come off the stock really hard. Well, actually these ones are coming off nice now, but it almost hurts your wrists after you're done picking. Gotta be ready. It's cracking. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> you ready, Sammy? Yeah. Hold me back. Okay, there it goes. That's very good. 
Is it ready? Mm-hmm. You want to try it, Sydney? Sure. All right, let's look at the red one. Oh boy, you got pop? Mm-hmm. Nope. Nope. Not yet. Close. It's getting hot out now. This is just the start of the eggplant. I think they've only picked them twice before. It was only a couple baskets. But they're starting to get to be a nice size now. We're gonna come down and pick more later. But mom just wanted a couple for the market when she heads out this morning. There's one more. right there to the right of you, Cindy. That's huge. Look at that guy. Right there. Tops of them have pokies, like here and here, so you can't grab them by that. They'll get a bunch of splinters or whatever you want to call them. How many more? Okay. Uh, maybe one more. I got another one I see right here. We just got the load for the market finished up. Sammy's heading out now to the market. Gonna get that all unloaded and set up so everything's ready for the rest of the day. You good? Yep. Now Sydney and I moved into washing red beets. She's putting them through. I'm packing. I love how they look when they come out. Nice and dark red, or almost purpley. This is what they look like a day later, once we put them in the cooler. They're still very muddy from all the rain we've been getting, so she's gotta put them in the washer just by hand and actually kinda rub them a little bit. Especially right there at the base of the roots is where it's the most dirty. So I just got up here to the field with the plastic lifter again, and I'm actually gonna be using it this time for what it's meant to be used for instead of the garlic. And so, Dad a while ago killed this field, and then you seen me go through and mow it as low as I could without, you know, hitting the plastic. I was a little bit confused of how it was gonna work. For some reason, years ago, I thought it cut down the middle, so you had three different pieces of plastic, which I wasn't sure if that would be good or bad. And it looks like you could put another disc in there that might be without holes for. But anyway, there's not one in there now, but I think that's gonna be just fine because you can see how good of a job it's doing. It's actually lifting the plastic right out of the ground perfectly. It's almost laying right on top, but like I said, there's still these big root balls that we're gonna to have to compete with. So it's the next day, Dad and I come out to pick more sweet corn for the market. And because they come off so hard, you're just using a knife and cutting the bottoms right off. 
which actually makes it look a lot nicer. I think it's just fast. Yeah, instead of fighting with it. Yep. I'm just gonna pick a couple of yellow dolls for the market. Yellow dolls are the seeded yellow. We have a seedless, but they're not quite ready yet. This one, it's not bad or anything, but it looks like a crow when it was younger. Might have just pecked into it a little bit. But it is a nice size. Maybe I'll pick it. We go by two things. A yellow belly, which this one clearly has, and if it has that nice like hollow sound. Not that it's hollow inside, but that's the way it should sound. That one doesn't have quite a good enough yellow belly on it yet. Go back in here. This one looks nice. No yellow belly. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between a seeded yellow and a seedless yellow. Like, I guess you could call it the veins are a lot tighter on the seed on the seeded. That's seedless yellow back there, and you can see how like they're a little bit wider. And they also get about twice the size. This looks like a nice one right here. Yeah. Now we're gonna go through and get some broccoli. Now, we've been picking this patch for the past couple weeks. So we went through and picked the main head off of each one. That's why that was like all kind of rotted right there and a lot bigger. And then after you have that main head, a bunch of shoots come out. And you can basically just keep picking them and picking them for the next couple weeks after you cut that main one. And so this is kind of about normal size. This one's a little bit nicer. This one has two on it. And if you keep cutting them, like every couple days, you'll keep them under control. But if you don't, what'll happen is they'll start to sprout and then eventually get flowers on it, just like this guy and that one right there. And it's gonna happen eventually, especially once we start our new patch. But for now, this is all we have. And well, they're nice and beautiful. Just about got mom's load finished up here. Cantaloupes are bought in. But like I said, ours are close. These are ours, oh, and obviously everything else is ours. We're starting to pick the red onions pretty heavy now. They're getting to be a good size. This is Sammy's first time ever hand digging potatoes, which we're gonna start within the next two days, probably digging with the digger. But what you need to do is grab every stem of that plant, just one for now. This one too, if you can. And then I like, kind of pull it back towards you. Okay. And I'm gonna go down here pretty low. And I always have Crocs on when I'm doing this job for some reason. There we go. Rip under it. Now, as I lift up, you pull out. Good. And lay them like right back here. Well, no. Keep the stems this way. That way it doesn't get caught. Okay. And now you can lift up some of those potatoes out of there. Just so I don't stick them again. And so that first plant did pretty good. We're going to try and get two baskets just for mom for the market. So we think we've got just about two baskets. Every day that goes by now, the skins on them get tougher and tougher, which means we can hopefully dig them, like I said, with the digger here pretty soon. The first time we dug them, 
if you would just accidentally slip your fingers on the potato, it'd take the skin right off. We just started the whites. First plant was very successful. We'll see what happens here on plant number two. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Beautiful, not scabby. This one stuck out a little bit, so it's got a little bit of green on it. But Sammy will eat that one for supper. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there's two plants there. Wow, look at them. They're huge. They really grew a lot since last time. Look at that. That's the size of my hand. These are Eva's, I'm pretty sure. Eva's we like a lot because they're more of a nice, round, cleaner potato. We have Norwest, I think, down below, and they're just a lot more, like, bumpy, I guess I could say. Can you get over here too? We did two plants on one. Might be more under here. Oh. oh, you stuck one. Sammy's getting real excited. <laughs> We're getting a lot of nice potatoes here. <laughs> Just think, Sammy, in a couple hours we'll have the whole field done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Sammy, you missed one. Right here. Right there. Ooh, it's like treasure. Look how big that is. It's like treasure. It's like a big piece of golden potato. <laughs> this is the mother of all potatoes. We picked one plant and only had one potato on it, and this is what it had. <laughs> You can't even see my it's hand. It's bigger in your head. <laughs> Another good way to tell if they're done growing is if there's a lot of small potatoes on them yet. And these don't have a lot. Like this potato, or this plant I guess I should say was still growing. You can see how small that potato is. Had a couple of them on there. But like I said before, it's not going to be long and everything's going to be done. The top will start to die and then we can really start harvesting. So that's what I'm calling a wrap for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching and always remember it ain't much, but it's honest work.